A turbine engine has four sections. The inlet, compressor, combustion and exhaust sections. These sections are stacked in sequence from the inlet to the exhaust. Air passing around the propeller hub is directed over the inlet. The air is then compressed in the compressor section, increasing the amount of energy that can be extracted during combustion and exhaust. Over half of the compressed air is used to drive the compressor section. In a fixed shaft turbine engine, the rear compressor, or high pressure compressor, is driven by the high turbine. The high turbine is called a high rotor, high spool, or gas generator. It is often referred to as NG, which is the gas generator speed. The low pressure compressor is driven by the low pressure, or power turbine, which also drives the propeller through a drive shaft connected to a reduction gearbox. It is often referred to as NP, which is the power turbine speed. In a split shaft or free turbine engine, the gas generator drives the compressor while the power turbine drives the propeller. Interturbine temperature or ITT is the measurement of the combustion gas temperature between the N1 and NP turbines. Approximately 20% of the compressed air may be bled off for heating, cooling, cabin pressurization and pneumatic systems. The compressor delivers approximately 10% of the compressed air to the combustion section. The combustion section contains the combustion chambers, igniter plugs and the fuel nozzle or fuel injectors. The fuel air mixture is burned at a ratio of 15 parts air to 1 part fuel, with most of the energy of the combusted gases used to turn the turbines and approximately 10% producing thrust. The exhaust gases are then exhausted through the exhaust nozzle. The power lever controls fuel input through the fuel control unit or FCU, increasing or decreasing gas generator RPM or N1. As engine power increases, the power turbine transmits greater energy through the propeller shaft and reduction gear assembly, creating a twisting moment which is measured in foot-pounds. The torque generated creates thrust which opposes parasitic and induced drag. The reduction gear converts the high RPM and low torque of the shaft to low RPM and high torque which drives the accessories including the generator and hydraulic pump and the propeller. The propeller control system is divided into two types of control. Below the flight idle power position in the beta range, propeller blade angle is controlled by the power lever. When the power lever is moved below the start position, propeller pitch is reversed to provide reverse thrust. Above the beta range, in the alpha range, the propeller lever controls propeller RPM through the primary governor. A high engine speed and a low propeller blade angle is used at takeoff to achieve maximum acceleration. During cruise, engine speed is reduced and blade angle increased for faster, more efficient performance. As engine power is reduced during descent, blade angle reduces to maintain the propeller RPM set by the propeller lever. The propeller lever is again set full forward at landing, so that maximum acceleration is available in the event of a go around. The condition lever is used to cut off and introduce fuel, and in the low and high positions, to control the idle speed of the fuel controller. The low position is used for starting and taxi, the high position for normal flight. In a fixed shaft turbine engine, the propeller and condition levers are combined. Feel free to like, comment and subscribe.